glad to hear RHR on there in southwest Pennsylvania. Um, we spoke sometime last summer, and since then I, I took a trip back up to, to Pittsburgh, for, or Bethel Park area, in fact, for a visit, and um, I spent an afternoon driving around the old haunts, and just for grins, I went looking for the old coal mines where I grew up, and they're gone. <laughs> There's not a trace. The Matthews Mine entrance is now a, uh, uh, where the portal I used to go, that is a parking lot for the district school buses, and um, where I grew up, actually, with by uh, the old... Um, what was that number eight Coverdale mine? You'd never know there was anything there. Even the, the, the waste heap is completely gone. It's been probably hauled away for building materials. And the Montour Railroad that went past my front door is uh, there's a development there now. So uh, I hadn't been there in 35 years, and uh, there's just there's just no trace of any of those old coal mines anymore. Uh, it's sort of a, it was a, a shock to the system. Like where did it all go? So that's about it. That day. Uh, I did. I uh, was tempted as I was driving up uh, 79. I thought, wouldn't it be cool to drive over, just drive past the Bailey Mine, just to see how, what that looks like these days. So I think that's the last big one in Southwest Pennsylvania. Okay, back to you, Jerry. WD4 DMZ is on. Okay, Rich. Oh, that's nine. WD4 DMZ in the group. KCAG1. Yeah, I did that. About I don't know, ten years ago, went back to New Jersey. I grew up in New Jersey, and uh, well, what I was looking for was the dump, because you know we got all our best radio parts from the dump, and uh, follow the track. We used to take our bicycles, and there's a condo complex built on the dump. The way that dump was managed, right next to the Hackensack River. I don't think you want to live anywhere near it. You know, Hackensack River was green. And it uh, looked like mud from all the stuff leaching from the dump. But, uh, okay, Borgie, uh, you're up with CBN on deck. Uh, KNYQQ to take it, KCHZOL, and the group. Okay, KCHZOL, and the group, K9YQQ. Well, very good afternoon to everyone, and um, we're... Uh, we're, we're copying everybody by the bank conditions are just wonderful today. Absolutely wonderful. We're uh, uh, on the air today with a, a homebrew uh, transmitter, um, latest latest build pair of four CX250Bs, screen modulated by a single 6L6. And uh, it seems to be working really well. I had it on 80 meters uh, the other day and uh, well, I tried to check into the forum here on 40 uh, the other day, but the conditions were not too good. But uh, it's only been on the air for a couple, three days. But anyway, thanks to Jerry for sending me the tubes. And thanks to uh, Brett and to DTS for sending me some really nice airflow sockets, the actual iMac uh, SK sockets for these tubes. So um, anyway, it's built into a couple of DX100 cabinets. One of them is the... Um, RF deck and modulator and the other cabinets I've uh, got the power supply anyway we're having fun and uh, I'm very very sad to hear about uh, Mike and ADCR he was a he was uh, a stalwart I mean he just was he was just uh, the things that other people depend on you know and uh, he is going to be sorely 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 missed yep very sad day in Mudville to hear of his passing. Okay, back to you. Um, good signals all the way around. Thanks for letting me in. KC8ZUL, K9YQQ. Loud, Bertie. Okay, yeah, very good. Uh, 20 over on a rig, it sounds great. It's hard to believe. I don't really believe in ceramic tubes because you can't see the electrons, you know? How the hell could they be working? It just, it just seems wrong. There are probably another 50 of those tubes up there in the loft, so anybody else wants to... And that's a, an evil mix of technology, a 6L6 driving a ceramic tube. Something very wrong with that, but man, you made it work. Steve, uh, W9, uh, CBN, you are up with CBY on deck. Very good. Outstanding. Please join the forum. ac 8 zul Good afternoon, one and all. W9, Charlie Brown, November, Sierra Tango, Echo, Victory, Oscar. Ah, pretty high in frequency. Let me kind of get down a little bit here. All 
right here. Close enough for government work. Anyway, uh, man, like everyone else, I'm just uh, just a sad day of the loss of Mike in ADCR. We all know he was, uh, he exemplified what the amateur radio operator was. He was always willing to help others. Uh, you know, he had an indicator. You know, he looked around for it. He was just uh, what the hobby is about. Whatever it takes to help another ham out, that's who Mike was. And, uh, we all have our stories because we had you know, these punch us on and hurt us on. So uh, I'll say no more about that. This is another sad day uh, as far as uh, this year goes. We've lost quite a few uh, games in our community uh, that uh, made a significant impact. Those that we would call the bastards to the hobby. So uh, just to to say that and end here today. Uh, don't worry about we get a chance to join the forum using Rocky. That's a lot of time today to take, so I'll uh, quickly jump in here. We're on the Collins rig uh, this afternoon, Jerry, the uh, 32V3 transmitter. Uh, single 4D32, only about 100 watts, that's about it. Missing on the Collins 75A3 receiver. The microphone is a D104, and the signals are outstanding this morning. Uh, when you know it, the day I, I, I get the day off and get a chance to join the forum, uh, we finally got a good day. So happy about that. Band is really nice. Other than that, I think I will turn it back to you. Thank you for the guy putting it in here. Everyone sounded great. And uh, we'll catch you with a good one later on down the wall. KZ8ZUM and OHIO. Okay, Steve, very good. It's solid 10 over. Jimmy 9 CBN, KACHUL in the group. Yep, yeah, one more Mike story. You know, I picked, I bought uh, three broadcast rigs from, and one of them was an RCA uh, shutter door, and the uh, plate transformer was external, three phase. It was outside. <laughs> and it had a cover, and, you know, it was serviceable. You know, and we had to go out there and, in the mud and trying to figure out how to get this 9,000 pound transformer out of there. I said, you know, uh, I saw the pictures. This thing used to have a top. He says, oh yeah, I turned it into the dog uh, kennel. <laughs> so it was out there. I didn't take that because the dog was living in it at the time. Okay, uh, Bob, you're at the analyst here, KDHCBY to take it, sir. Uh, KCHU won't end the noontime group.